Uh, it was David who said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the law. And it just looks like Paul picked up the baton when he said, if I tarry long, thou oughtest to know how to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, pillar and ground of the truth. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to have been here all these days and to have been able to share with you uh, in this protracted gospel meeting. I have enjoyed myself tremendously and I want to thank this church for uh, your kindness and your hospitable disposition that you have manifested toward me while here. Uh, it has been absolutely awesome. And I'm just grateful that you have called me. I thank the elders and the deacons and your very astute minister. Uh, astute minister. Uh, I knew him when he wasn't quite as astute <laughs> as he is right now. Right now he's astute. Yeah, and, and of course I knew him way back. But, uh, but he has done a Beyonce on me now. He's, 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 uh, he's upgraded. <laughs> I ain't that old. I know who Beyonce is. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. And so it's a pleasure to be here and to uh, be here with... Um, uh, with Lisa and the children and to share with this great church and I want you to know that you certainly have two wonderful people leading you and, and I would hope that you would throw your strong arm of protection around them and work with them and uh, because I tell you if you stumble uh, I'm going to get him and, and bring him home uh, if, uh, I'm telling you up front I, I'm telling you up front because I don't want these elders mad with me. I'm telling you up front. I'm telling you up front that uh, he has a place in Fort Lauderdale and, and I'm getting to the point now that I'm trying to back off just a little and uh, I'm telling you up front so y'all don't be mad with me. I don't want you mad with me so I'm telling you up front. Uh, so just take care of this wonderful family and and God will bless you, and, um, and certainly if we never meet again, let us so live that when our summons comes to join that great innumerable caravan that moves to that mysterious realm, yes, where each shall take his place in the silent halls of death, thou be not like a quarry slave at night who goes scourged to his dungeon, but sustain and suitful like him who wraps about him, the draperies of his couch, and he lies down to pleasant dreams. All right, sir. All right, so sir. let us so live that we can meet on the other shore. Yes, sir. And whatever you do from this day forward, do it well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it well. Don't worry about the other man. Worry about the man that's in you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, don't worry about the other woman. Worry about the woman that's in you. Yes, sir. And, 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 and certainly if you do that, then you can quote, you can, uh, quote the poet who said uh, that if you can uh, preach a better sermon, if you can write uh, a better book, if you can build a better mousetrap, yes, though you make your house in the woods, the world will make a beaten path to your door. So just be the best of whatever you are. Yeah, be the best of whatever you are. Yes, sir. And I want to say to you young folk, be the best of whatever you are. That's it. Whatever you do, do it well. Uh -huh. Whatever it is, if it falls your lot to, street, to sweep streets, then you go ahead and sweep those streets like Michelangelo carved statues. Yes, right. Go ahead and sweep those streets like Shakespeare wrote poetry. Uh -huh. yes. Go on and sweep those streets that George Washington Carver uh, invented the peanut. 
and made over 700 products and byproducts from the peanut. Whatever you do, do it well. Yes, sir. And then when it comes your time to press a dying pillow, yes, sir. people will walk by your casket and look in at you and say, here lies a man that did his job well. So just, just, just go on and, and, and do the best that you can. And don't worry about other folk. Because there will always be folk in the peanut gallery. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've learned, I've learned, I've learned, I've learned. There will always be folk in the peanut gallery that want to be you. And because they can't be you, they're not going to like you. And it ain't because of you. It's because of them. So get your head right and, and go on and be what God uh, would have you uh, to be. Now, 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 I want to, I want to uh, do a couple of things this morning and I shan't be long. Um, I, I said I shan't be long. Um, lest I overlook or forget Sam has already said my wife is here and she drove in uh, on yesterday and the Lord blessed her to get here and um, uh, it is just great to have her here we've been married for a long time uh, I said long time <laughs> how long ain't none of you <laughs> uh, ain't none of you <laughs> but we've been married a long time we got married as young people I was a sophomore in college uh, when we got married and of course we've been together uh, ever since so we're just grateful that she's here and um, uh, we look forward to sharing with you uh, when this is over <clears throat> there is a verse in the Bible that you can quote without even opening your Bible and it's found in the first book of the Synoptic Gospels uh, the book of Matthew yes, sir. and it's the 16th chapter and it's the 18th verse and you don't even need your Bible for that because you, if you've been in the Church of Christ a couple of days uh, you, you you, you know what that verse say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that verse, Matthew 16, 18, and Acts 2, 38. Yes, sir, because we, uh, we determine whether or not a dude is a church of Christ preacher. Can he quote Acts 2? Or does he believe Acts 2, 38? But in the 16th chapter of the book of Matthew, and the 18th verse, Jesus had come into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, and having come into that area, he talked with his disciples and he asked them a question, whom do men say I, the son of man, am? Uh -huh. In other words, what are folks saying about me? You all out there with the crowd, what, what are they saying about me? You on them streets out there, what, 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 what are they saying? And they began to say one thing and some said another. And, and, and um, then of course, he asked his disciples, what do you say? And Peter being the spokesman, being very loquacious, and he said, thou art the Christ. Yes, sir the son of the living God the son of the living God it's, that's the preaching point right there you can preach for six weeks right there the son of the living God we, 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 we have to serve a true and living God and you got to be careful that you don't make yourself a but that, that's not why I went there. Um, <laughs> thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And then he says, I say also unto thee that thou art Peter. That's where I want to go. Yeah. And upon this rock, yes, sir. I will build my church. Uh -huh. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. 